that we are meant to learn and when we do not learn them we are given we are given that same opportunity over and over again until we do the right thing and that coupled with the fact that tyranny always uses the same strategies they remove history they control all of the major information outlets they control as much of the necessities that you need for prosperous living in order for them to gain the leverage against you to make you do what they want. And then they always go after the children. They are the most vulnerable and most impressionable. And the two clips that I'm going to show you today, each of them turned my stomach as I hope it turns yours as well. Because if you believe when from after I show these two clips that this is just, that it is right, and that we are heading in the right direction, I guarantee we will have to repeat this again in the future because that is not the way that we're going to solve this. It is not the right way at all. It is horrific. It, it makes me want to throw up. And if you feel that this is the right way to go about this, you have, you have some, some inner demons to work through, my brother and my sister. You, you are severely broken if this doesn't turn you. Like same result. Oui, tous les deux, on a une seule dose. Ah oui, puis est-ce que vous êtes d'accord, vous autres, avec la vaccination obligatoire? Oui. Oui? Ah, oh. ah oui, hein? Wow. On dirait que je les ai drillés, Julie. <rire> oui. <rire> oui. Puis qu'est-ce qu'on devrait faire avec les gens qui veulent pas se faire vacciner? On devrait euh, appeler la police. Ouh, oui. 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 S'ils n'ont pas leur vaccin, ça peut mettre beaucoup de personnes en danger. Fait comme le gouvernement est en train de... I want you to understand, children aren't inherently like this. Children are inherently tolerant and compassionate. They don't think in terms of this, they're taught this. And if you believe that it is okay to teach children to be this, then you agree with Mao, because that's what he used. He weaponized children. Funny mustache man did the same thing. They all do this. They weaponize the children and they send them back out as a plague on their own community. They will have them so twisted that they will actually go against their parents, which is what these people want. You listen to the crowd, they're going to cheer. To do it in this moment, you have to cut them little things to little things until they get up and get up and get up and get up. In other words, we have future politicians on the side of us. Thank you. Thank you very much to all our guests. So that is absolutely horrific. That makes me want to throw up. I, I recommend that you run that back if you miss any of the subtitles. But they essentially have indoctrinated these, cho these children into believing that the government is right. Anybody that goes against the government should be turned in, should have the police called on them. Do you understand? Even if it's their parents and these people, these adults are around them cheering. Do you understand how, how terrifying that is? Do you understand that? And then this next clip, because I was in Quebec, Canada. And you may think, oh, that's Canada. Not going to happen here. Well, this next clip is just as horrific if not more masks full mask compliance later down their their growth as, as students right so when they're at it's like if you're a two-year-old you're trying to help them practice for so what he's talking about is with regards to mask compliance if you start these kids earlier like when they're two they're going to accept it as they get older and you won't get any pushback that if you didn't know is called grooming age three and then four when they're going into pre-k classrooms and then from there trying to help them get into normalized situation wearing masks potentially in a kindergarten classroom and so forth right so that's what we're trying to do and it's it is with a developmental lens and not a you must do this or else essentially what he's saying is the goal is to prey on your children they're not going to get compliance from you as an adult because your mind is formed and shaped and you're secure in your beliefs and your values they need to get them at two before any of that happens. And they need to do it in the schools when they're away from you. Do you understand? Yep. So go ahead and uh, Assistant Superintendent Paul Coe of Wake County Public School System. 
explains why he wants to mask two-year-olds to train them in mask compliance in preparation for the next few years, right? They, they want to just keep these masks going and going and going. Not only that... Oh, and it gets worse, as you're about to see. If you look to D.C., you look at these toddlers, they're forced to say something wearing these masks while they're marching. <laughs> They're basically doing a mock protest. They're holding up signs to say Black Lives Matter while wearing masks. These children can't be older than, what, five? That, that makes me want to jump out of my skin. It makes me want to jump out of my skin. We have one job, one major job as adults, all of us, and that is to protect children. This is the very opposite of that. This upsets me like, like, you, got, like you wouldn't believe. I, I'm a very composed man. If you've seen any of my posts, if you know me personally, you know I'm an exceptionally composed man. This is one of those buttons that will really challenge my composure. Yeah, that's your public school system. There they are teaching the kids ABCs, 1, 2, 3s, English literature, um, science, you know, all combined into Black Lives Matter marching down the hallway. Now you're really trying to tell me that that is about public welfare, that that's about child safety. Really, at this point, after 24 months of them preying on your children, you really believe, do you really believe, as you see what's happening around you, as you see the actual data, as you look at the actual science, not the distraction, not the misinformation coming out of CNN and MSNBC and Dr. Fauci's mouth and CDC and WHO, these, these institutions are the bastions of misinformation and distraction and confusion. After all this time, do you really, really, in, deep down inside, in your heart, do you really believe that this is about the welfare of the American citizen and about protecting you? Really, I'll leave you with this. They have these little kids in masks. They still want to mask children in school. So let's, let's go here. This is from the CDC. This is provisional C-19 deaths by sex and age. You can scroll down, and this was updated as of February 2nd, and this has deaths by sex and age. Imagine that. So when we go to the zero to 17 category here, then we go over to see how many C-19 deaths in that age group. So from zero to 17 years old in 24 months, actually over 24 months now, 770 fatality out of a total death count of 69,463. So out of a total of 69,463 in the last 24 months, only 770 fatalities in the zero to 17 age range. Now to put that in perspective, pneumonia deaths are at 1,327. That is just under double the fatalities from C-19. So in light of this, if we're following the data and the science that's coming from the CDC, why are we not more afraid of pneumonia than we are of C-19 for the zero to 17 category? And we never masked our children for pneumonia in the past. So I'll leave you with that and ask the question again. Do you really believe that this is about the welfare of children? Or is it like what Mao did, look through history, what funny mustache man did, what all these tyrants did? They all did it. Go look it up. Don't believe me. Go look it up. They all targeted the children. They indoctrinated them. And then they sent them out as weapons. They radicalized them and sent them out as weapons to turn the rest of the populace. They turned them against their parents, against their friends, against the communities that they came from. What is it going to take? Is it going to take your freshman coming home from, from their first year of college and then accusing you of being a racist because you don't have a Black Lives Matter sign up, completely breaking away from the values that, that you raised them in? Is that what it's going to take? Or is it going to take your eight-year-old coming home and throwing a tantrum when you say all lives matter instead of Black Lives Matter? Then will you let's start to go? Or would it be when your six-year-old comes home and says that everything that the government does and says is correct and you should never go against them. Is that what it's gonna take? 
Or is it going to take your, your, your college student graduating and then turn you in because you're unvaxxed and, and letting everybody know? Because the government will ask them, hey, do your duty and turn in anybody. I mean, we're not there yet. I'm not saying that. This is all hypothetical. Do your duty and turn in anybody who's unvaxxed and your child will turn you in. Is that when you'll realize, like, how did, my, how did my own flesh and blood? Is that what it'll take? Honestly, honest question. Do you really think as you're lining your children up to get stuck by the people that are trying to do this to your children, do you really think that they should be trusted? One last thing. Teachers unions. Do you really think the teachers unions have your best, have your child's best interest at heart? Do you really think the teachers unions are advocating for your children? Because if you do, then then ask them this question. Research it. You know anybody in the teachers unions? Ask them this question. Why did, why would a teachers union advocate to block school choice? How is that in the best interest of the child? Why would teachers unions attack homeschooling? and try to make it seem like it's the parents are gonna use homeschooling to radicalize the children against the government. How come those two things alone all acknowledge the power and the individual sovereignty of the parents? How come the teachers unions are against the parents having power over their own children in lieu of the government having power over those children? And then ask yourself, why would I line my kids up to be stuck? Why would I put them in these institutions? that are essentially going to just groom my children to hate me and to go against all the values that, that I instill in them. They essentially want to raise my children for me, but they don't share my values. Huh. Think about it. Think about it. Do the right thing or else history will continue to come back around and continue to give us an opportunity. If we don't do the right thing today, it'll keep giving us the opportunity to do the right thing tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's gonna take a lot of tragedy. Don't, don't, don't. I can't tell you what to do, but I want you to start asking questions. That's, if, if nothing else, I know what I'm doing with my children. I'm not here to tell you what to do with yours, but I'd like you to at least dive in. Research it for yourself and then ask yourself that question. Are they 